The fighting in Ukraine has seen a wide range of small arms in use, ranging from the cutting edge to the antique. We've seen a number of older weapons like Mosin Gant rifles, M1910 Maxim machine guns, and DP light machine guns in service with both sides. We'll take a look at those in future videos. The TT-33 pistol, a pistol which first entered service 90 years ago, is another older weapon which is again seeing action. The examples seen in theatre are likely a mix of privately owned firearms and pistols drawn from Ukrainian stores. Introduced in the mid-1930s to replace the 1895 Nagant revolver, over a million TTs have been produced. Designed by Fedor Tokarev, the pistol became the Soviet Union's primary sidearm, seeing service during the Second World War alongside the Nagant. The TT-33 is a semi-automatic pistol chambered in 762 by 25 It feeds from an 8-round single-stack magazine and uses John Browning's short-recoil tilting barrel action. The TT is an extremely robust pistol and remained in service well into the 1950s with the Red Army and continues in service around the world, even today. Pistol use in general in the current conflict doesn't appear to be prolific, but a considerable number of combatants are frequently seen carrying sidearms. Everything from Makarovs to Stechkins, to more modern Glocks and Ukrainian-made fort handguns. Pistols are often carried by soldiers working in roles which frequently see them separated from their service rifle and by those who prefer to carry a secondary weapon. While we've seen TT-33s in the hands of Russian and Ukrainian separatist troops, in this video we'll largely be focusing on Ukrainian use. At the fall of the Soviet Union, a considerable amount of surplus small arms fell under Ukraine's control including a substantial number of TT pistols. While not general issue, it has been in service with the Ukrainian Army, National Guard and the Border Guard Service. This video is by no means an exhaustive survey of TT use in Ukraine, but let's take a look at some examples. At the start of April 2022, the training detachment of the command headquarters of the Ukrainian Territorial Defence Forces published a number of high quality videos showing the disassembly and the cleaning of the TT. These videos were made alongside videos covering a range of topics including small arms, light weapons, fitness, first aid techniques and drills, and have formed an important learning aid for volunteers with the TDF. Четверте. Зняти затвор зі стволом. Яте виняти зворотну пружину. Шосте виняти напрямну втулку. Сьоме виняти ствол. Восьме зняти колодку. The Ukrainian YouTube channel Boys from the Forest shared a video looking at the TT in May 2022 discussing the pistol's history, mechanism, and concluding by shooting an empty, explosive reactive armour block with the pistol. In June, Alina Mikhailova, a medic with the 1st Separate Mechanised Battalion, Da Vinci's Wolves, shared a photo of some firearms used by the unit, including, amongst others, a TT pistol. In July, a volunteer with the International Legion shared a photograph of their sidearm, and later in the summer, in August, some members of the TDF posed with a Nestor Makhno banner, a DP light machine gun, and a TT-33. A Russian news report from around Solodar, published on the 5th of August, featured an interview with a soldier carrying a TT in a front pouch on his load-bearing equipment. On the 12th of August, a Ukrainian operator shared a couple of photos of his sidearm, a 1945-dated Izhevsk-manufactured TT-33 with wooden grips. Date and location of when the photos were taken wasn't shared. In an interesting video posted around the 25th of August, a TT-33 is used to test some captured Russian steel plates. An officer with the 95th Air Assault Brigade shoots one of the plates point-blank with the TT he carries in a webbing holster. Дивіться, 
на эту другую армию света. Вот что, вот что, вот что оно, нахера, вот, 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 The 7.62 by 25 round doesn't cleanly penetrate the plate, but appears to impart enough force to crack the metal. A few months later, at the end of November, the Military Institute of the National University in Kyiv shared photos of cadets taking part in a shooting competition with TT pistols. A month later, on the 30th of December, the 247th separate battalion of the TDF's 127th Kharkiv Brigade shared a photo of a member of the battalion, armed with an AK-74, and on his plate carrier, he has a TT in a Cytac holster. These tactical holsters for the 90-year-old pistol retail for around 750 to 800 rivnia, about 20 US dollars. This short video posted in June shows the holster's retention system. On the same day, Ukrainian personnel shared an update video from their position in Bakhmut. One of them is seen carrying a TT on his plate carrier. He's also armed with a Polish MSBS Grot, and his colleague is armed with an FN file. Check out our earlier video on the FN file in Ukraine if you haven't watched that one already. A TDF officer callsign which has been seen numerous times carrying a TT-33 as her sidearm. Videos posted on her TikTok on the 24th of December and 12th of January show it on a holster on her plate carrier with a coil lanyard fitted. A video shared by the TDF Public Relations Service in mid-February also gives us a good look at the TT carried by the witch. On the 26th of February, the TDF's 127th Brigade shared a gallery of photos featuring the TT on their Instagram page. The example shown has an aftermarket rubber slip-on grip. The caption notes, Despite the fact this pistol was actively used even during the Second World War, it's simple in design, reliable in operation, small in size, and comfortable to carry, and always ready to defeat the Russian invaders. On the 12th of March, a Ukrainian special operations unit shared a photo of an operator sat beside a captured Russian prisoner, while holding two TT-33s. One in its original finish, and the other with a camouflage paint job. Most recently, at the start of March, a Ukrainian marksman active around Bakhmut shared a photo of his position with a rotary grenade launcher, a UAR-10, and a TT pistol. Thanks for watching guys, as I mentioned earlier, we'll take a look at some more of the antique or vintage weapons that are being used in the conflict in Ukraine in future videos. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Sharing the videos with friends really helps us get the word out about the project. If you'd like to support our work, you can do so via Patreon or YouTube memberships. We've got a range of perks available to say thank you for your support, including early access to all of our videos. Thanks again for watching, catch you next time.